Maintenance is an important component of any reclaimer, and Bibco is no exception. But what Bibco does that separates them from others is they do things like put a winch and a davit here that allows us to raise each pump and inspect things like the impeller and all the connections to make sure that everything's clean and operating correctly. We recommend you do this once a week to maintain the operational efficiency of your Bibco. When we're measuring the water level, we use this sonar, which is made by Endress Hauser and it helps us determine what level the water is in both pits. The second meter is a density meter or turbidity meter made by Endress Hauser as well. Now this meter is extended below the water line and relays the exact specific gravity of the water back up to the automation in the batch control room where they can use that information to then blend the gray water with fresh water to make fresh concrete. Depending on the season, you may need to heat or chill your water. Well, Bibco's solution is to use a false bottom. They use steel plates in the floor, they're about four inches thick, and they run water, chilled water or heated water, through them in order to maintain the temperature in the pits. This is part of the plumbing for that chilled or heated water. This manifold runs three pumps. One provides fresh water to the Bibco, the middle one is just for wash water around the plant, and the third one provides heated or chilled water for the false bottoms to maintain temperature in the pits. An 11-foot shaft and a 54-inch diameter agitator are at the bottom of the pit. They're attached to this motor and gearbox. Well, Bibco knew there would be a lot of stress and torque on that gearbox, so they put urethane bushings at all attach points onto the gearbox to help eliminate the stress. If you look here, you can actually see the movement of the gearbox caused by the agitator blades. This significantly increases bearing life. I've raised this inspection hatch so you can look down in here and see the agitators in action. They're agitating the water, keeping the solids suspended. It's a 54 inch diameter blade on each one of these agitators and they turn at about 60 revolutions per minute. The batch plant gets its gray water from this four inch hose, which delivers the gray water along a 400 foot run up to a holding tank in the batch plant. This is where it all comes together. We're in the batch room right now, and behind me are each one of the three readouts that correspond to the densiometers down in the pit that will show us the specific gravity of each one of the pits. The third pit itself interfaces with the computer's automation in the batch room and it allows us to blend the gray water with potable water. And of course, it knows the specific gravity and then can actually pull out or hold back on sand or fines and increase the water. And when you call for a gallon of water, you're only getting a certain percentage of that gallon because there are fines mixed in with that water and they displace the water. So the automation does its job by adding additional water and holding back on fines. One of the final phases of this project was to enclose the machine with a building. The owner wanted to maintain a specific temperature. So we chose Star Building Systems who erected this building in about two weeks. It went up with no fuss, no muss. I'm standing on a pad, the concrete pad, that's actually heated with radiant heat to keep the drivers from slipping and falling on ice in the winter. Creedheads, I hope you had as much fun learning about the Bibco as I did telling you about it. This producer was a lot of fun to work with. We were able to get a great project done here, and due in part to this producer's passion and motivation to get this job done the right way. We left this producer knowing as much about this Bibco as we do, which of course will translate to low maintenance and good operational efficiencies. Crete Heads, there's a great case study at maconcrete.com and go to concretereclaiming.com where we've got a boatload of resources and information. Make sure you check that out too. And you know we love you at concreteanswers.tv. See ya.